Hi there, Perfected Decaster here and welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope you have a great day. Now in this video, I'd like to talk about what is arguably the most neglected left hand finger. And no, it's not the pinky. Now a lot of players in the upper beginner, intermediate and some advanced levels have unfortunately relegated their index finger to nothing more than a clamp or a <laughs> an organic capo. Uh, whose job is just to mash down on the strings while all the other digits are free to tap and play and dance around the strings and guitar frets. Which is unfortunate because amongst all our digits, we have the most control over our index finger. And it is a shame to just give it one job while playing guitar. And this is pretty much why I think the left hand index finger is the most neglected left hand finger. I also find that if you do nothing else with your index finger but hold strings down, you tend to harbor a lot of unnecessary and unwanted tension in the hand. And this unnecessary tension tends to stunt your guitar playing progress, especially if you want to start playing faster stuff. But don't worry, here's a few tips so that you can start developing a more active index finger. Now the first thing you can do is to start using your index finger for hammer-ons and pull-offs. Start off by just getting it used to hammering on and pulling off on its own. And then progress to uh, combinations with other fingers. Now if you're not familiar with the left hand mechanics for hammer-ons and pull-offs, uh, click on the card above to watch my All About Legato video. Now once your index finger gets used to hammer-ons and pull-offs, you can take a, uh, a sock or a hair scrunchie or a groove gear fret wrap and work out your scale patterns using only hammer-ons with the left hand. Now to take it a step further and make it even more fun, you can incorporate your right hand and start tapping stuff. Now finally, I'd like to introduce you to the concept of finger exchange. Now the basic idea of finger exchange is that you are only pressing down on the finger that you need to sound out a particular note. Now let's say you play the standard chromatic exercise. On the last note, the pinky is actually pressing down and sounding out the note. So it doesn't make any sense to keep pressing with the fingers behind the pinky. Because it doesn't help it. Right? So you can actually let these fingers go and it will still sound the same. Now to start applying finger exchange, I want you to think of the effort needed to press down on the string and imagine that to be a ball and that ball of effort gets passed from one finger to the next. So let's start with our first finger, the index finger. Pass the ball to the second finger, our middle finger. Pass it to the ring finger, the third finger. Pass it finally to the pinky, to the fourth finger. So you are exchanging your fingers every time you play. You can also apply finger exchange to your hammer-ons and pull-offs. Once you get the hang of finger exchange, you will feel that your hand has way less tension than before and your fingers are quick and ready to react to whatever you ask of them. Well,
Well, there you have it. I hope this video helps you gain a more active index finger and an overall balanced left hand with a lot less tension, which will in turn help you play faster, longer, and funner. If you want to support this channel, please check out my merch shelf right below this video. And if you don't see that shelf, then links are in the description box. Now let me know what you think in the comment section below. Feel free to give this video a thumbs up like, share it with your friends, and if you haven't yet, please subscribe. Now go grab your guitar and have fun working out those fingers. And as always, practice makes perfecto. Cheers.